6 investigates follow on a story that we first told you about last week. Nueces County Commissioners are now responding to the firing of a deputy chief of the medical examiner's office. The Texas Medical Board saying that Sandra Lydon did not have a license to practice medicine in the state of Texas, nor a temporary permit. The firing comes after Lydon declared a woman's homicide, uh, that's death as a homicide, but a second autopsy ruled it as a natural death. Our Taylor Alanis caught up with commissioners this morning. Taylor, what did they have to say? Pat, I talked with commissioners Brent Chesney and Robert Hernandez who say they were shocked to find out the lack of credentials that Leiden had and they want answers as to how and why she was hired without the proper vetting. Earlier this month, a Corpus Christi police detective questioned Leiden's findings after she declared a 27 year old woman's death a homicide. According to an affidavit obtained by Chris Six News, Leiden could not explain these conclusions. So the detective then went to the district attorney's office. The DA requested a second opinion and that medical examiner from Georgetown says the woman died of natural causes. Investigators also found Leiden didn't have a license to practice medicine in Texas. You would hope that the HR department was involved in anything related to any hiring in the county because to me that's why you have an HR department. So first and foremost the, the look needs to be at the HR department on uh, on this as well, not just the medical examiner. I would think that's one of the responsibilities they have to do, you know, uh, to know who you're getting, who you're bringing on board. Uh, these are very delicate uh, cases uh, and there's a lot of stakes. Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Del Shaker told detectives that he was present when Leiden performed the autopsy and agreed with her findings. According to records, Shaker knew Leiden didn't have the right license and that she needed to get at least an emergency permit to perform the job. Leiden was fired, but an investigation is ongoing. Commissioner Chesney says that he did put discussion about the situation at the medical examiner's office on Wednesday's commissioner's court agenda. Now we tried to talk with County Judge Barbara Canal at Monday's meeting. Now the judge says she didn't know much about what happened at the medical examiner's office, but she is hoping to learn more about the investigation on Wednesday. For Six Investigates, I'm Taylor Alanis.